In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump assembly on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We need to release the pressure in the fuel rail. Over on the passenger side, we're going to take this cap off. Just use a rag, just put it over. You just want to push in on the pin on the little Schrader valve there. I'm just going to use a straight blade screwdriver. Just go in the middle there. Make sure you wear safety glasses. You're gonna get a little bit of fuel come out. Not much, just release the pressure. That's good. Now we can put that cap back on. We're gonna take the gas cap off. I'm gonna take these three bolts out. Use a seven millimeter socket. that out. You can push the top of the filler neck down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, you can take this bolt out for the ground. Ours is pretty rusty, so I'm just going to use some locking pliers. Just get it to loosen up. All right, we got it loosened up. And just grab that bolt, take that out. I'm just gonna support the tank. All right, get that lined up. That's good, it's supporting now. Using a 15 millimeter socket. You want to loosen up the bolts. You want to do this by hand. You don't want to use an impact. Otherwise you might break the, uh, the nut on top. Let's get that spinning. Go. Slide that down. Now take the take the tank strap and just slide it up, and it comes right out. I'll we'll take this this strap off the same way. 15 millimeter socket. Again, you don't want to use an impact. You could break the J-nut. There you go. Take that bolt out. And slide the strap down. And take that off. And it slides right down. I'm going to slowly lower the tank a little bit. We don't want to drop it down too much because we still have some things to disconnect. Just drop it down slowly. We're going to disconnect these two lines. And just push the two tabs. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath so you might lose some fuel. And just grab the hose and slide it off. A little bit of fuel. The same with the top one. Push the clip in. Just try to slide the line off. There we go. And it slides right off. Disconnect this vent hose right here. Just push down. Just squeeze it and then you should be able to rock it off. May need some needle nose pliers. Just slide that off. You can see you squeeze it. 
and that pushes the locks out. Right, just make sure the filler neck goes over the frame. Just come down some more. Now I'll disconnect the connector right here. Push this lock back and then you can push down on the tab. Slide that connector back and slowly drop the tank more. On the filler neck, there is a vent hose. If you want to disconnect that, just leave that to the side. Pull the ground strap over and drop the tank the rest of the way. Just use a little compressed air, blow this off. That's good. Take the float and we want to attach that to the level sensor. Just going to push that in and just carefully lock this down. If you need to, you can use some needle nose pliers. Just be careful not to break it. It goes in pretty easily. Disconnect the connectors, just push down on these tabs. Slide that off. Do the same on this one. And just squeeze it. it. Slides off. And we'll take these off right here. Kind of flip it around. That slides off. That's going to go in the line, just like that. And same with this one. So you just fold it, slide that into the line. That's good. The center one, just squeeze that. Just use some pliers, squeeze that together, slide that off. You want to use a brass punch to loosen this up. If you have the correct tool, you want to use that. Right here, there's a little lock. Just, just push that up with a screwdriver and give it a tap. Just get under here with a pry bar and just pry it up. Slide the lock ring out. Just grab the pump, slide it out. You can pull the seal off, slide that up. The level sensor, you might have to move the level sensor up a little bit. Just let some of that gas drain out. this in a tray and wipe this up. Take the new seal, slide that in place. Take the seal, we're going to go over the pump. And just slide it up to the top. And slide the pump and level sensor in. And you're gonna center the seal first. Push that in place. That's good. And you can see there's an alignment tab for the assembly. Line that up and push that in place right there. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. the lock ring, slide it over, push it down, then again if you have the tool tighten it up, if not just using a brass punch, just tap it in place. using a screwdriver, push that lock in place so it doesn't loosen up. Now 
right, take the lines, line these up, lock it down. Just like that. I take the wiring harness and just pull back on the insulation. You can see where this one has already been replaced at one time. I'll just show you how to do it again. It's a good idea to stagger the wire connectors as well. So you can do that. This thicker wire is on the end. So we'll cut that one right there. It's also a good idea to do one at a time. Line that up. I'll just cut that right there. Strip the wire with some wire strippers. Twist this, strip that wire as well. Give it a twist, take this connector, one of the bigger ones, slide that over the wire, crimp that. Line that up and crimp that. Purple wire, it's the next one in the connector. Sometimes the connector colors may not be the same. So just match up, make sure the second wire is purple. There it is, cut those two right there. Insulation off right there. Give it a twist. Give this one a twist. This is going to be the smaller connector. The wire is not as thick. Crimp it down and crimp that one down. Give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. Same with the other one. Yep, those are tight. The next wire is the gray one. And the same with the other connector, it's gray. Cut those right there. This gray wire is thicker, so we'll use the bigger connector. Crimp it down. Slide it in and crimp it down. It's tight. And the last one, orange and black. Sometimes you'll find these are just black, which is fine. You can attach it to the orange and black one. It's the last connector. Cut those off. Smaller connector. Crimp that down and crimp this one down. Get a wiggle. Yep, those are all good. I'm going to use a heat gun and heat shrink the connectors. back over the cover, the insulation sheath, slide it in place. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure the gas tank's not right under you. You obviously don't want a heat gun or even an open flame underneath. So make sure it's far away. And that's good right there. Now you're good to put the tank back up. Now attach these to the 
hoses, just push those in. Same with this one. Push it in, lock it down. We'll go up with the fuel tank. Just make sure you grab the filler neck. Have that go up first. Once you're ready, once it's high enough, you want to connect the connector to the fuel pump. Line that up, lock that down, push down on the lock. Fuel tank pressure sensor, lock that in. Lock that in, that's good. Looking good. And connect the lines, the fuel lines. Before you push the tank all the way up, makes it a little easier. All right, those are locked in now. I'm just gonna try to pull that apart. Yeah, those are locked in. All right, now you can raise the tank even more. Now connect this connector. That hose right there. And attach this hose. Lock that back down. Slide that in place. Good. For the bolts, I'm just going to use a light coat of anti-seize just because we're in a rusty area. That's good. Slide that into the frame. Just use a pry bar, push that up. Just get this lined up. Take the bolt, get that started. Same for the back strap. Put that in there. Get it started. Then snug it down. Now we'll torque these to 30 foot pounds. strap and a bolt. Go around the other ground, get that started. And we'll tighten that down. There you go, that's good. Now you can lower the support. And line this up, put the bolts in, get those started. You might have to push this up a little bit. Get the other one started. And the top one. And once you get those all in, go ahead and tighten those down. Snug that down, then take the gas cap, line that up, snug it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.